How to choose the correct scope is a complicated question to answer, but today I want to discuss the warranty and my experience with Leupold's warranty repair program. When deciding which scope is right for your application, I don't think warranty is the first thing you should be thinking about. The magnification you need, the application for which you're going to use it in, do you want MOA, MRAD, first focal plane, second focal plane, there's lots of decisions that need to be made when it comes to looking for the right scope. However, when it comes to the warranty, I think that the warranty and the customer service behind it is important. On my bench here, you can see the majority of the scopes that I've actually purchased. And yes, I've actually purchased every single one of these scopes. And thankfully, I've had very little problems with any of them. I'm sure that some manufacturers have a better reputation than others. However, I'm certain every single manufacturer has sent out a defective scope and people have had to use the warranty returns. Today's video is not about bashing any particular scope manufacturer's warranty program or their customer service. This is to give you my honest experience that I had with Leupold's return program and how it ended up working for me. My first experience with Leupold's warranty return service was when I actually purchased my Leupold Delta Point. Now I don't have all the dates for you for that particular purchase, but I can tell you that when that unit first came out, I had that on pre-order for probably at least six months before I received my unit. Unfortunately, when I received my unit, I wasn't able to open it for a period of time because I had some other complications going on. So my return policy with my retailer had expired when I actually found the defect. Long story short, fresh out of the box, my unit was defective. I called up Leupold's customer service line, explained my problem. He said, hey, why don't you return it back to the, your point of sale? That will be your fastest way. I told him that I had it sitting on my shelf for too long, so I had exceeded my return period. And so he proceeded to issue me an RMA number. At that point, I had to return my optic. It took every bit of the six weeks that he quoted to actually get my unit back from Leupold. That's the time frame I was quoted, and that's what I got. So I was a little disappointed, but I got the service that I was promised. To be honest, that did put a little bit of a sour taste in my mouth. And if it's not clear, I've tried other manufacturers, mostly Vortex. I'm never going to claim that Vortex is perfect, but I've heard several return stories about Vortex products and their turnaround has been very good. I can't tell you what my experience has been with them because I haven't had to send anything for warranty repair. But I do have a more recent story of Leupold. I haven't actually purchased any more products. However, I was given two more test platforms that actually had Leupold optics already mounted. One was a standard three to nine. Another was a fixed four power. What's interesting about these to me is the age. Both these scopes were actually manufactured well back in the 60s. Leupold's warranty program touts having a lifetime guarantee. So again, I called Leupold support and was issued a return number. My return process for these two scopes actually started back in April of this year, and we're all probably aware that was going on at that time. So I'm perfectly willing to cut Leupold a little bit of slack here, not having extremely quick turnaround times. So I actually returned both of the scopes with the appropriate documentation and was happily surprised that to receive on April 23rd, a response that they had received my scopes and were quoting me a warranty service that would be completed in approximately seven weeks from the date of the product arrival. Keeping in mind that April 23rd was when they received it, I actually received my first email on the 18th of May. The gist of this email was I needed a call because one of the units was not fixable and they needed to discuss a suitable replacement method with me. So their initial response significantly beating their seven week estimate, but that story doesn't end yet. The next date of actually on the 21st of May, I received a shipment notice and within a couple days, I actually received back one of my scopes, which is the middle one here on the table. And the repair order describes this as a Verex 2 3 to 9 by 42 gloss duplex. My complaint for the warranty return was that both these units would fog significantly. As far as the turret function, everything still seemed to work when they were sent in. However, my warranty order stayed in the service activity. They reworked the erector system. They replaced the eyepiece assembly, replaced the windage adjustment, replaced the elevation adjustment, and completed an internal inspection. I'm not sure what possibly else that they could have replaced in this, but it appears the outside casing is somewhat the original, but I'm guessing all the internals are new. Though I can't say that I looked through it in the 1960s when it was purchased, I can't imagine that it doesn't look significantly better now than it did the actual day it rolled off the manufacturing line. Overall, I'm very impressed with the service, and it significantly beat the time frame that was quoted, even in the middle of having to deal with all the supply chain issues that have arisen this year. Back onto the other scope that they talked about on May 18th, I actually didn't call back to a few days later, and when I discussed with the, the Leupold rep, instead of getting one of their fixed power scopes, I did request that they change it out for one of the three to nines because I thought it would be more suitable for my applications. So I'm going to accept partial responsibility. However, the gentleman on the phone did insinuate that these were in stock. 
So again, I didn't actually take the initial replacement that they offered. I did take an alternate. As you can see, I did get a brand new scope, fresh in the box. As you can tell, I haven't actually even opened yet. Overall, Leupold's return program, you'll have to make your own decision. They did stick to their word, regardless of the age and worrying about proof of purchase. They replaced or repaired the product the best that they could. And I have two well-functioning scopes that certainly work far better than the ones that I sent in. All the customer service people that I talked to were very helpful and very polite. So I really have no complaints on that end, but certainly having a quicker turnaround time sure would have been nice. Though they did hit what they quoted, at least with my repair for replacement, you'll have to decide on your own. As much as I would love to give you guys a list of all the different manufacturers and how good their warranties are and how good their customer service has been, I'd love for you to fill out information in the comment section below. As far as it goes when I'm picking out scopes, I really want to look for a company who's been around a while. There's lots of good scope options right now, but me personally, I'm always going to be looking for a, a company that's been around a while, sticks by their products, and does have excellent customer service. Maybe when some of the newer guys have been out for a few more years and have a more proven track record, I might try one of them out. As for now, Loophole has stuck by their product. Where I might not call myself a happy customer, I do think their warranty program was reasonable, and they stood by their product. So, I can't complain too much. But if you guys have had a good or a bad experience, I encourage you to put that in the comment section below. Help out the other guys when they're trying to figure out which scope product to buy. It's not just always the quality of the product, but also the customer service behind it. At least in my opinion, when it comes to choosing a scope, one of the questions that you should really answer is how good my warranty is, and especially how good the customer service is behind it. I look forward to learning about your experiences in the comment section below. And until next week, stay safe in small groups.